Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube fam? It is your boy, Joe Fit Johnson, back at it again to bring out some fire content. If you are new to this channel, this is where we come and talk about fitness, health, self development, financial literacy, crypto, um, pretty much everything that involves self development. Um, and just to dive straight into things, what I'm going to be talking about today is fitness, right? And why you should value what I'm saying. I've helped dozens of busy professionals transform their lifestyles, building lean muscle cutting body fat, gaining weight, and overall, most importantly, changing their lifestyles, elevating their lifestyles, um, and overall just having more confidence, more self-belief, and more discipline, right? And that's what we're gonna be talking about today, discipline and mindset. So what you may have seen on the, the title or the caption is why exercise and why you know personal training isn't gonna work to get you the results that you want, or why exercising alone and why personal training alone will not get you the results you want and why it doesn't work a lot of the time and that's because mindset everything starts at mindset you guys right you could have the best personal trainer in the world you can have the best personal trainer in the world but if you are not disciplined enough to show up to your sessions you're not going to get the results that you want right say you are showing up to your session say you have the best trainer in the world you're showing up to each session but you're going home and you're eating whatever, right? Not only eating whatever, but not having intention behind what you eat, right? A lot of people, they go to the gym, exercise, they eat healthy, and they still struggle to reach th their goals. They're still struggling to get results, right? And the reason why this is, is because there's a difference between eating healthy, right? Just generally eating healthy and eating intentionally for results, for your goals, right? And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna be talking about the importance of firing on all cylinders when it comes to truly living a healthier lifestyle, but not only a healthier lifestyle, when you're actually achieve, when you're actually striving to achieve physical results, right? Aesthetics, gaining muscle, burning body fat, it takes more than just eating healthy. It takes intention. It takes um, mindfulness, right? And it takes overall changing your self-image changing your relationship with food and overall developing your life philosophy in you know what you believe in about yourself what you believe in about food and what you believe in about values right so when i say firing on all cylinders what i mean is eating intentionally training intentionally and constantly working on your mindset right because the same way that you train your body each day the same way that you go to the gym if you're not training your mindset to become more disciplined, right? If you're not training your mind to have more mental toughness, you're still gonna struggle, right? And not only struggle, but you're going to lack consistency, right? You're gonna lack clarity. You're gonna lack vision. You're gonna lack even clarity on your why, right? So I hope that, I hope this is all making sense, right? And I'm not throwing any shade towards personal trainers or anything like that, but the reason why personal training doesn't work a lot of the time, and I used to be a personal trainer until I went online because I found the value in being online and being able to truly help my clients fire on all cylinders, right? Because I found I found that, you know, whether people weren't showing up to their sessions or um, people would go home and I'm not sure what they're eating or, you know, um, yeah, what they're eating or what they're doing, right? it left a big gray area where I wanted to be more hands-on. I wanted to see what my clients were eating. I wanted to be able to give them feedback. I wanted to help them with their mindset. I wanted to see what their diet was within their mind, right? The same way that we have a diet and we have intention and nutrition within our body to get the results, we must have intention um, and nutrition with our mind. You can't just intake any kind of bullshit and wonder why, you know, not only you're not motivated, but you're not disciplined, right? Because you're not expanding your mind. You're not building your mental toughness. You're not becoming more knowledgeable and knowledge is power right a lot of the times people eat the way that they do because they don't they're not aware they may know like oh yeah it's unhealthy but they're not aware of the true impact that it has not only short term but long term right they don't understand that the power of our gut health let's just say right the power of our gut health and what happens when we have a compromised um gut right most of our guts are compromised because of the pesticides that are in these foods um the chemtrails and a lot of other things right especially here in the united states and i'm not going to go too much on that because i may get banned <laughs> but i just want to shed light on what i really want to do here is shed light on the importance of self-image in life philosophy right you have to understand in order to live a fit, healthy lifestyle, get the results that you want and keep them, 
your life philosophy must be aligned and your self-image must be aligned of that of a fit person, right? So I, I was reading a book. I forget the book. I think it was maybe The Compound Effect. I always mention The Compound Effect. So good. Um, but he mentioned, maybe it wasn't The Compound Effect, but he mentioned how he went on a vacation, right? He went on a vacation and he went with his friend. His friend's a runner and it was raining. It was snowing. His friend still woke up every morning at 6 a.m. and ran. And he's like, bro, I'm like, man, how do you do that? Like, what is it? How do you do that? And he's like, bro, I'm a runner, right? That self-identity is of a runner, right? So if you're someone who doesn't have that self-identity of fitness, obviously it's because you haven't earned it, but it's also something that you need to curate, right? You need to start building habits. You need to start building a mindset. You need to start building a circle or surroundings of people that also align with those goals, right? And you, you know, uh, imposter syndrome is real, right? So you have to put proof into the pudding. You have to start showing up each day. You have to start being disciplined. You have to start doing the things that you don't feel like doing in order to get to where you want to go, right? So that's where habits come into play. And that's why I work with my clients so much on building habits, whether that be within your morning routine, whether that be within your night routine, whether that be within just making sure that you're doing something to sharpen your mind and overcoming that, oh, I don't feel like it, bullshit, bro. Like if, let me ask you this. Do you feel like going to work each day? Most people don't, right? Most people are like, I'm not motivated to go to work, yada, yada, but you still do it, right? So if you had that same intentionality, that same philosophy towards your own self, then you would go a lot farther, not only in your fitness journey, but within anything that you wanted to do. If you held yourself on a, at the same standard as your job held you, think about where you would go, right? And that's why I keep bringing up this philosophy. What is your life philosophy? Who are you, right? Think about that. Who are you? How do you want the world to see you? What are your values? Right? Like, for instance, one of my philosophies, one of my things in, in life, right? A couple of things. First thing I want to say in terms of my philosophy that helps me a lot. If you're a person that goes out and likes to party and drink, especially like if you're a young folk like me, um, and you go out and you drink, I don't go out and drink very much at all. But when I did, one of my things was if I go out and drink, and it's still my thing, but if you go out and drink, you must wake up the next morning and sweat that shit out. It doesn't matter if you're hungover. It doesn't matter if you feel like it. Yada, get the fuck up, sweat it out. So if you're a person who goes to like the Super Bowl party or likes to kick it with your friends on the weekends, yada, yada, have a, you must systemize your lifestyle. You must systemize your lifestyle to support the goals that you have, right? So if you know you like to go and drink and yada, yada, and you must sacrifice that, honestly, like, because that's not serving you. But if you are that person, you must have something that counteracts that negative action. And it's only a negative action if you allow it to affect your next day. That's the biggest part of drinking. It's the next day aftermath that affects you. So if you have something that counteracts that where you can still stay on track, then that's super important. Um, but where I want to stay on track at is developing that, that, that self-image and developing that discipline. Because at the end of the day, your discipline is going to set you free. Right. If you don't have discipline, if you're not a person who can push yourself to do the things that you know you need to do when you don't feel like it, then you're going to struggle, not only on your fitness journey, but if you want to open up businesses, if you want to start learning a new hobby or even pouring into your relationship, you're going to struggle because you have to learn how to do things that you don't feel like doing. Right. And this is where that mindset development comes in so much. Read books, listen to podcasts. And most importantly, again, Surround yourself around people that align with your vision. I understand that you may have friends that you came up with or that you're, you know, old buddies and things like that. But if they're doing the same old shit and that's not what you want to do anymore, you must separate yourself. And I have a video on this called Seasons of Separation, which is very, very important because when you separate yourself, when you isolate it allows for so much growth because you're spending time alone you get to reflect you get to really think about who you want to be and start pouring into things that you know um serve you right um so i want to dive a little bit deeper into what where personal training benefits a person so i want to dive a little bit deeper into where personal training benefits a person and where online coaching benefits a person so that you can know where you fit right personal training is very beneficial for those that want that hands-on guidance right you haven't worked out before you don't know you know uh, proper forms you don't you know you're not really able to push yourself mentally to be able to get that you know that 11th rep when you're at 10 you're just like oh it's hard you know oh it's heavy like you're not able to really tap in and be like come on one more come on you really got to get this you got to get stronger you don't have that yet so personal trainers really do help with that unless um you're a person who 
doesn't really like to be pushed like that, right? Sometimes personal trainers can take it a little bit too far and push a person a little bit too hard, and that a lot that gives that bad taste in their mouth. Where like I had this personal trainer, they just pushed me too hard. They thought I was a bodybuilder. I was so sore, and I just didn't go back, right? So if you're a person who wants a little bit more freedom and be able to go at your own pace, that's where online coaching may fit in. Another power when it comes to personal training versus online coaching is depending on the coach, right? I know for myself what we focus on in No Stagnation Academy is mindset development, right? Because we know the stem of transformation starts at your mindset. It's the habits, it's the discipline, it's the accountability, it's the community. It is your daily habits that are going to pour into your mind and allow you to blossom into a new person. What we call, we gotta kill your old self, right? We have to turn into that Joe 2.0, that 3.0. We must upgrade, we must update our software just like these iPhones do, right? If you continue to run off the same software, if you're not changing, if you're not allowing yourself to be uncomfortable by doing new things, you're going to be stagnant, right? And if you're being stagnant, think about a life chart, right? A life chart. Dun, 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 dun. If you're stagnant, bro, you're dead. You feel me? So you must, dun, 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 dun. you must live a little, right? We're going to have our peaks and our valleys, but what's most important through these peaks and these valleys is that they go into upward motion, right? They peak and they valley, but they are all always growing throughout it all um, and that's what's most important here so where online coaching is very powerful is it allows a little bit more of that depending on again who you work with but it allows more of that mindset development that habit building that accountability where you're going to be checked in on I know my academy I can see, we can see what you're eating we can see what you're eating we can see when you're training we can uh, we're gonna be on coaching calls so we know exactly where you're at in your journey where you need help with where you need guidance where you need to push and so forth right so it's all and we have a book club we listen to podcasts we have a group chat like these are the things that really shape a person to allow them to shape shift and grow into that person a lot of my clients have told me like the biggest thing that we've helped them with is their mindset how they view the gym how they view food right um and what i was talking about earlier in terms of knowledge is power when you understand how these foods these inflammatory foods these processed foods these gmos um these processed sugars when you understand how this affects not only you your gut health your energy levels um inf inflammation all of these different things, um, heart health, cancers, all of these things, then you just truly want to eat better, right, for your health. You want to eat better um, so that you can vibrate higher. You can have a better mood. Or you're not feeling so sluggish, right? Um, and again, the physical appearance is very important because when you look in the mirror, you want to feel sexy, right? You want to feel confident, right? Whether your shirt's on or off and you go to the beach, you go to the pool, I mean, I know for myself, and again, this is my life philosophy, but I want to be able to take my shirt off until I'm 90 fucking nine confidently. Motherfuckers breaking their necks, you know what I'm saying? And again, a lot of people get in relationships and they get comfortable, right? That's where a lot of people let their bodies go and things like that. For me, it's like I want to be as sexy as possible for my partner, right? I want to continue to raise the bar and hopefully they re reciprocate the same energy, right? And again, this is where your surroundings come into play, right? And this is where your philosophy comes into play. What is your philosophy on life? Are you somebody who just wants to get by until you go in a casket? Or do you want to leave a true legacy? Do you want to break generational curses? Do you want to be an inspiration to your friends, to your family, to the people around you, right? Especially with social media nowadays. It's very inspiring when someone, whether you're underweight, fitness in general, right? Taking care of yourself and just passing a different message to the youth to your family right because so many of us have been taught um in program not only through our families but through the media right um these these habits that do not serve us and are not going to allow us to be free human beings free powerful confident human beings so it's up to you what is your life philosophy who are you what kind of legacy do you want to live these are all things that come into play when you think about fitness and for me I am going to look this way. I'm going to feel this way until I'm a, a hundred plus. And that's my philosophy. And that's why I get up and I work out because the energy that it gives me, I literally could not imagine not working out. I went to the gym today and after I just felt like a, I just felt such a high. I'm just like, I can't imagine not having this, you know, like it's, excelled me in my business it's excelled me in relationships it's excelled me in my careers like modeling if i didn't have this this body i don't know if i would be able to sit there in my underwear and, <laughs> and go to these photo shoots with a whole bunch of people on set if i didn't i mean yeah you still have confidence but you're not truly confident until you earn that shit confidence is earned right being able to show up and prove to yourself that 
I do what I say I'm going to do. That is confidence. All right. If you like this message, if this helped you, I highly, highly recommend tapping in with your boy, right? No Stagnation Academy. We've got a Facebook community. We have a Discord. It's free to join. Um, just be around like-minded people, right? That's my goal is to build community, build like-minded people, entrepreneurs, crypto maniacs, AI technicians. You feel me? Like we're building out the future over here. And at the same time, while we go into this next generation of internet, while we go into this uh, next generation of life, we must take care of ourselves. We must stay intact. We must stay in tune with our mind, our body, and our soul. And that's why they say the three, mind, body, and soul. It's not just mind and soul. You must have that body. You must take care of your body. You must fuel your body. You must fuel your mind, and you must fuel your soul. All right? Tap in, subscribe, hit the like. I'm mic'd up, so hopefully this quality sounds better. Gang. Uh, hopefully this quality sounds better. So yeah, um... Hit the subscribe, hit the like. I hope that this helped y'all. Much love, much peace. Peace.